guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids in our 12th year homeschooling. Today, I am going to be sharing with you all of the advent calendars that we are going to be using this advent season. So let's get started. Now, last week I shared all of the advent resources that we were going to be using for our family devotional and the little things that we do, our advent candles that we make. I will leave a link in the description box for that video so that you can see the rest of what we do for Advent. But um, I really love Advent calendars. I know that that is not the reason for the season, but I think that it gives a little bit of joy every day for me and my kids. And so we have been doing Advent calendars since my kids were little. And honestly, I did them all growing up as well. Now we did not purchase Advent calendars until maybe four or five years ago was when we first started purchasing them. Before that, what I would do is something that I affectionately call advent bags. And this started when Emma and Jack were tiny, tiny, tiny. I think Emma might have been two and Jack was just a baby. And what it was, uh, I will actually, I'll see if I can find some old pictures and insert them in here. But really what it was, was me getting some of those brown paper lunch bags from the grocery store and having my kids decorate one for the 24 days of Advent, the 24 days leading up to Christmas during the month of November. It was a whole project for us. And the reason was because my kids were incredibly early risers. And so <laughs> I, I am now uh, very much a morning person. I get up super early. That is because my kids always woke up really early. I was never successful in getting them to go back to sleep. Um, so I did other things to <laughs> manage my mornings, and this was one of them in this season. So each, each day, pretty much uh, starting at the beginning of November, my kids would come downstairs and I would have a brown paper bag and some markers and some stickers and some crayons, and I would write the number for whichever day it was going to correspond with the day in December, and they would decorate it. And so that was a little project during the month of November leading up until December. And then once Advent started, what I did was I would copy out a little verse on a little, um, you know, note card and I would stick it in the bag and then I would stick you know, uh, one of those small things of Play-Doh or some stickers or a little notebook that I would create from construction paper, just cutting up a few pieces of construction paper and stapling them together and putting a couple of crayons in. And that's what I did for many, many years up until Lucy was maybe two and then it was getting to be too much for me to do <laughs> all of the decorating of the paper bags. So we moved to purchasing some advent calendars instead. Every year my kids go back and forth as to whether or not they want me to do the advent bags again because it was kind of fun for them to see that it was a little activity or something that I would pick out for them and they really liked that. So that is what we did for many years, but now we do buy some advent calendars and that's what I'm going to share with you today. So the first advent calendar that I have this year is Emma's advent calendar and I got her the Sephora wishing you calendar. Um, I'm not sure how good this is going to be. It was not like, I. I think that it's really very tiny, tiny sample sizes, but I'm hoping that she likes it. Last year we got the uh, Body Shop Advent Calendar and she loved it. And it, I thought that it was very well done and there were a lot of really, really great products in that for her and um, she used them for a really long time which was nice. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's got this little pop-up thing. It's not super Christmassy, <laughs> which I mean, I guess none of these advent calendars are 
really all that Christmassy, but I liked this. I thought that it would be a fun one. It's harder when they get into the teen years to find advent calendars that they will enjoy. And I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on advent calendars. So this was a good option. The next one that I have is the slime advent calendar for Lucy. We have done a slime calendar for her in the past and she loved it. It was one that she really wanted this year. Of course, for her birthday, I bought her like gallon jugs of glue and she has been making her own slime for the past uh, month already. So I'm not sure how excited she will be about this one. I think she will. She really does like uh, this fluffy slime. It's like cloud slime, I think. Um, and it does have some little mix-in things. The slime is perfect for her age and it's something that keeps her busy um, during the day, which is one of the reasons that we continue to do advent calendars. This is the next calendar that I got. It is for Jack and it is little strategy games. They're little puzzles. You can hear it a little bit. Um, you know, those those little rings that you have to unhook and I thought that it looked like a fun thing. They're little games. I think they will keep him occupied for a little while in the morning. Um, I did get an email from this company with like a list of how to solve the puzzles, which I think is super helpful. They said that it's more um, upper level strategy games. So I'm glad that I have <laughs> the answer booklet so that if he is struggling, he can figure it out. But I thought that that would be a fun one um, for him to have this year. The next one that I got is this family games one. Uh, we usually, so usually I just get three advent calendars. I either do advent bags for each of the kids or I get each of the kids one advent calendar. However, um, my husband is at work when we do advent calendars. We don't wait until the end of the day and he's usually gone before they are awake in the morning. So I thought it would be fun this year to have an advent calendar that we open in the evening with my husband. And so that's why I got this family games one. So each day there is a new little game to play and I think that that will be um, a good thing to have us do before we light our advent candle and do our family devotional just to kind of wind down the day um, have something that is you know a family activity for all of us to do I think that's going to be a lot of fun and so I'm really excited about this advent calendar okay and then the next advent calendar that I have is this one from KiwiCo and this is the Santa's Railroad advent calendar now, last year we got a KiwiCo advent calendar for the first time. I'm not even sure if they had had these before. I had never seen them and we have subscribed to KiwiCo for many years off and on. Um, and it was Santa's workshop last year and it was perfect. So every day the kids had a little activity to a little um, thing to build to put out on our bureau art center that is in our dining room um, each morning. It was really nice for them to have a little activity to work on together. They each took turns opening it and uh, we actually saved all of the pieces so I'm hoping that we can put them together uh, when we decorate for Christmas this year. Um, this one is no longer available. It already sold out. I was hoping that it wouldn't sell out before I did this video, but it did. However, the Santa's Workshop one is still available at the moment, so I will leave a link in the description box if you are interested in that uh, advent calendar, but it was a lot of fun. Last year, last year was definitely a struggle for us because my kids um, got sick the weekend after Thanksgiving and every weekend leading up until Christmas, another kid got sick. And so we had a month of the stomach flu and it was awful. Um, but what was actually pretty helpful is that the other two kids, when one kid was sick, the other kids were able to have something to do and something to look forward to. Everybody was just 
it was a very sick month in our home. Um, but yes, so I am really excited about all of these advent calendars this year. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I did get myself the In Good Taste wine advent calendar again this year. Um, I got it last year. <laughs> I did not have a glass of wine every night. I think that I finished up uh, the wines from that advent calendar this past summer. So <laughs> it, was, um, it was fun to open them every day, but you know, they, and it lasted me for quite a while. So that was really nice as well. Um, but this is kind of the other part of our Advent season. We do the family devotional. We have our time together in the evenings. We light our Advent candles. We sing our songs and do um, the fun Advent activities. But then in the mornings, we do our Advent calendars. And it gives us a little activity, a little something fun to have in the mornings and sets us up for a good day. It's just a tradition that we really enjoy. There are all kinds of ways that you can do Advent calendars. I know there are a lot of people that will wrap 24 books and have like 24 picture books under the tree that you can pull out one each day. And so you read a new story. That's perfect for kids of all ages. It doesn't just have to be little ones. Um, you know, you can also do little crafts each day is also a great way to uh, ease into the day and celebrate Advent at the same time. We do also do some chocolate. I always do Andy's mints. That's instead of chocolate coins or little chocolate pieces. We do Andy's mints in our home and my kids always love to have a little bit of chocolate first thing in the morning. But overall, it's a wonderful time for us as a family. It just brings us together and uh, the tradition is something that we always look forward to. My kids are very focused on traditions in our home and I know that that's because I've put so much effort into making sure that we have these traditions. They're very important to me. So I wanted to share what we are using this year for our advent calendars. I will have links in the description box for all of these. I got most of them off of Amazon, so um, they're probably still available. Uh, and there may be like some Black Friday sales that or early Black Friday sales that uh, have some discounts on some of these. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.